Now to a story of courage against adversity and a bold bid by Adelaide University researchers to find a cure for stroke, which is the leading cause of disability in Australia. Paul Clarick has the story. My quality of life is excellent, a little unusual to most people. I talk with my eyes and I am fed through a tube. These are the basic things. Everything else I have had nearly 20 years to get used to. I've looked up after a number of patients like this during my career and probably the most anyone survived might be three years. So Peter is unique in that he's now survived for 19 years. Peter Cooch can barely move a muscle, but those he can are being used to move mountains. Almost two decades have passed since the successful stockbroker was cut down in his prime with a rare form of stroke. He has what's known as locked-in syndrome. His ability to comprehend the world hasn't changed, but he can only communicate by raising or lowering his eyes. He suffered a, what's called a brainstem stroke. So this is the part of the brain which controls how you move your limbs and uh, swallowing and speaking. Um, and it's a, quite a rare um, type of stroke to have. And, but it's devastating. One, but what would two, bring many three, people down I has brought the best out of Peter Cooch. He One, learned a new two, way to communicate, three, four, raising five, his eyes in response to letters of the alphabet. Y. That's how he four, answered questions for this interview R through his wife, Simona. He wrote a book detailing his experiences by tapping out one letter at a time. Peter Cooch also underwent radical stem cell therapy five years ago at a clinic in the Netherlands. Peter did notice uh, some improvement, albeit slight. There was some slight improvement and that of course has uh, really given him um, real encouragement to, um, to be an advocate for the repair of, uh, the possible repair of stroke through stem cell. The potential that stem cells have for stroke victims led to the establishment of the Peter Cooch Foundation which raises funds for stem cell research at the University of Adelaide. Professor Simon Cobbler and his team are at the global forefront of research using stem cells from teeth. What these stem cells might be doing is actually producing factors that enable the brain to repair itself. The stem cells from the tooth are easily accessible often for people. It's possible that you could actually take your own teeth and after four to six weeks produce enough stem cells to actually give back to yourself, which would mean that you may not go into the problems of rejecting foreign stem cells. Next Friday, the Foundation is sponsoring people to go without speaking for an hour. The Don't Speak campaign comes ahead of Stroke Awareness Week and an international symposium being held in Adelaide to discuss the latest breakthroughs in stroke treatment. It's a brilliant idea. Uh, directly tackles the twin aims of this foundation which are to raise awareness of stroke and to raise funds for research into the cause and effects of stroke using some form of stem cell therapy. It's quite powerful in terms of putting someone in the situation where they can't speak for an hour um, which I think um, really gets the message home. The Governor of South Australia is promise not to speak for an hour, so I think that's wonderful and uh, it, uh, we need to have um, this type of enthusiasm to overcome the impact of stroke in Australia.